Welcome to another Bear Beer Reviews. Uh, we're still with Callum and we're going to let him try Tactical Nuclear Penguin because I'm quite interested to see his reaction to it. I've already done a review on this for myself so it's a special beer. So we're going to give him some and see what he thinks of it. Uh, I've already talked about colour and flavour of it as well so it's pitch black as the night. But Callum, give that a smell. That smells like... Uh, <laughs> I might as well leave this open and smell like... Kind of like... <laughs> bleach. <laughs> you think it smells like bleach? Uh, it's got a very strong, almost shot smell. Kind of like, like tequila or something. Interesting. Yeah. Well, it's all about your palate. I mean, it's like these smell. Very it? strong. I mean, I smell, um, not that I want to put words in your mouth, but for me it was. There's like, it was a, there's like, like an earthy it. smell to it. Yeah, dark and earthy, it's plummy. I found it was like really dark fruits like raisins and plums and like. Chocolatey flavour and the coffee flavours like in the the yeah, polish mover as well. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's it's alcoholic. That's 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 that's, that's for absolute damn sure. Let's get um, it so yeah, there we go. Calm is trying Tesco. You can. Uh, I think we shot it. But okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> you can tell this is the cultured person that I I, I spend friends with. You that you know how much that beer costs. No. I think it's a lot of money. I just damned it in the shop. It's a really expensive bit. Come on, flavour and taste profile, sir. Have you mixed it? It's sweet. Yeah? It's got a very fruity flavour, kind of like um, peachy. Yeah, peachy. Peachy, nectarine. Oh, right. Mango y kind of fruit. For us hoppy, it's that means he thinks, it's, he thinks it tastes pretty hoppy. Uh, quite refreshing. Mm -hmm. Very strong. Quite refreshing. So I like, find it quite refreshing. Oh, okay. Fair dues. I mean, sweet. What really I find sweet. What I find interesting about this is, is the drinkability of it compared to, say, a whiskey, which isn't that much stronger than it. I mean, thirty-two percent, and they, they Brewdog do um, sink the Bismarck. He wants to say, which is a forty percent beer. That's kind of in the same milk as this, but it's a different style of beer. So I imagine that'd be quite drinkable as well. So for thirty-two percent, I, I thought it was quite drinkable. I thought it was absolutely something I've never tried before in, in terms of beer. It was completely different flavoured, and I, I was kind of raving about it in my review. I mean, you can see what I think. I mean, when you, when you really ramp up alcohol flavour and stuff like this, you tend to lose flavour in the beers because you, you get overtaken by other, by other things. But to have a balance, I mean, you tasted this has got, I think it's Nelson Savannah hops in it, which is meant to taste orangey, apricot peachy. And I'm interested big that you kind of pulled that out of the hat because Ooh. that is actually what they, they're using it. And wow. to, to, to have a beer that's able to do that is what I think is fascinating. It's very, yeah, it was quite nice. Really, I, I got a really sweet taste from it. Yeah, yeah, Quite, it's, it's, it's just to oh, have, it's, it was odd. To have, odd a beer, to have a beer that has to be to get a beer that alcoholic, it has to have so much malt in it, so much sugar essentially. Um, that's going to always going to be some residual stuff in it, and to balance out the alcohol because if it's too mm. alcoholic, all you get is like a score bit. Tasty, really. very tasty, good. Well, there you go. There's a taste from Callum. He's he's tried it. He necked mm. it. Necked <laughs> it. Because I'm classy. Because <laughs> he's classy like that, but. And he seems to like it. Right now, out of 10, Callum. Can you even rate it? 8. You're going to give it an 8? I'm going to give it an 8. Oh, okay. Fair dues. Mm. Fair dues. Definitely. 8. 8. 8 out of 10. There yeah. we are. Reasons why? Because I could see myself drinking that every now and again. Mm. And I think it was quite a bit of a treat. Bit of a treat. Bit of a treat as opposed to other beers where it's almost like you have to drink it because you've opened it. You're... That thing, you can open it when you want. Mm. Yeah, I mentioned that in the review as well, the um, little pop lid we've got on it. It's sent by Brewdog, so I, th I think that's great. I mean, they, they do try and encourage responsible drinking, and it ain't a cheap bottle, so you can't just buy it and neck it like you... How much was it? Um, £40. Getting some. Definitely getting some. You get it. <laughs> get it on the Brewdog <laughs> website. It's only special limited edition, so if you're watching this video around the time that I'm posting it up, um, might be able to get your hands on some. If not, go to a Brewdog bar, there's one in Leeds, Aberdeen, Manchester, two in London, one in Edinburgh, one in Glasgow. Uh, they sell Sink the Bismarck on, from, I, I assume from the bottle, um, five pounds ish, I think, uh, a top of that. So I'll definitely have to try that one if I ever go to a Brewdog bar. But yeah, there we go, eight out of ten from Callum. Thank you very much for watching. This is a little bit of an extra Bear Beer review. I, I might call this one Bear. Callum beer review number one, or something like that. Yeah. Differentiate it away from mine. There we go, he's done his first proper beer first review. First proper beer review. <laughs> Thank you once again. Bye. Bye.